Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am sharing today the Spellbinders Merry Everything Christmas set. In this set you get so many things that are Christmas themed, you can build tons of cards. Today I'm using the envelopes that come with the kit to create a mini Christmas envelope album. So I have counted out six envelopes and I'm going to show you how I put these together to create my album. Super simple. Take your first envelope and then take a second envelope, bend the flap backwards, and then slip it inside the first one. And there you have it. So those are your first two pages. Um, you can see here that the page on the left will have a pocket. The page on the right will be your just a blank page you can then craft on. And I'm putting a little bit of glue behind that flap and adhering it down. Now you can turn that page and you can put another envelope in and just keep building your envelope pages. So I like to bend my flap backwards, go ahead and slip it in. Now you could also do it the other way and get a page that has two pockets in the middle. Sometimes I find it's a little hard to decorate that way or get things in those pockets, but you could totally do it that way as well. Um, but I wanted to m mention the flap that you see there by my hand, that is the flap for the very first envelope and you are not going to adhere that one down until you have all the pages in your envelope that you want. So I'm going to show you one more envelope here. You just bend it backwards, slip it in, and you can keep building your pages. Now, like I mentioned, I used six envelopes. I don't know if I'd recommend going more. You could if you wanted to, um, but at the end you'll see how this um, this album bulks up quite a bit when you get embellishments in there. Um, so putting too many pages in will put some some strain on your spine and it'll be more likely to fall apart. Um, so I use six and I think that's a good size for a little mini envelope. Now here's that flap from that first envelope. You're gonna fold it over the edge of all of those other envelopes and it's gonna create a nice clean looking spine. And of course you can go over the spine again with washi tape or pattern paper to just pretty it up. Um, but just folding over this first flap from your first envelope onto the back side of your envelope it's just a really simple, convenient way to finish off your, your mini envelope album. So al envelopes in this style, so easy to put together, and now you have blank pages to fill for an album. And this Spellbinders Merry Christmas, Merry Everything Christmas kit um, has so many fun things in it that you can load up this album. So I'm taking some of this red and white baker's twine from the kit. I'm taking some of this uh, adhesive tape from the kit as well. And I want to go ahead and add some of this twine around my album to kind of make a tie closure. And I'm doing this first because I'm going to go ahead and add layers on top of it. So it's going to be hidden behind the layers, but you're going to have some of this fun twine sticking out that you can tie and close your little album. So really fun and easy way to create a little album here. I'm just using this score tape to hold the, t the twine in place um, so it's not moving all around and it's going to stay where it needs to go. <laughs> so I love that they give you twine. I love that they give you the envelopes for your cards. By the way, there are like, I, I want to say 25 blank cards in this set. So you can definitely use this set for card making too. Um, you can get knock out like 25 cards for Christmas with this set. And I made this album and I still have a ton of stuff left. So this kit is loaded. So I took some of this red cardstock, cut it down to layer on the front. As you can see here, I just took my scissors and I roughed up the edges. I kind of like that worn kind of look for albums. I'm going to go through my pattern papers now and I picked out this black stripe pattern. I'm going to put this on the front. Now I'm layering these together. I'm just going to go ahead and glue my pattern paper down to my um, red cardstock. 
I do want to mention that this pattern paper is a little bit thinner than your cardstock, so I wouldn't use it as a card base, but it is fantastic for layering. And I actually like that it's a little bit thinner for my album because once you get all the pieces on there, embellishments, ephemera, tags, and all the things, it's going to be bulky enough. So I've gone ahead, I've got that adhered down. I took it over to my sewing machine and I added a cute little sewn border. I alternated between a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. Um, I don't always sew, but when I do, it's on paper. Um, mainly 90% of my time spent on my sewing machine is sewing paper. Um, I wouldn't recommend it with your good sewing needle if you like to do a lot of fabric maybe keep an older needle that you can use for paper or something you do also get some paper lint into your sewing machine so if you don't like that don't use your sewing machine for the paper um but my sewing machine is mostly for paper that's what i use it for and i think a little bit of a sewn sewn detail on your albums just makes it look really cute so I've gone ahead and I've adhered that down. I've also added a little bit of sewing here to this journaling card and I like keeping those thread pieces kind of hanging off. I think it just looks really cute, kind of shabby and just goes with the whole theme. So I'm going to go ahead and start loading up the front of this album with all the stickers and all the things. I love this big foiled bow. It's a self adhesive sticker. Just going to stick that on there. Now get a load of these tags. You have five different designs of tags and you get a number of each. And so you've got a ton of tags here in this set. I think they're all really fun. I'm going with this white glitter striped one. I thought I've got a lot of patterns going on in the background. So I'm just gonna go with white and just continue to load up my album. You also get in the kit all of these cutout pieces. Some of them are foiled. There's a lot of really fun images here and I'm just picking through the ones I like. I'm gonna arrange them on the front of my album. So going through your album, going through and decorating it, it's really just you picking out the things that you like and just arranging them in a way that makes you happy. Um, there is no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing here. I'm just putting things where I think they look good. I do want to leave that tag a little bit blank because I'm going to take some of those sentiment stickers and put a sentiment on the front of my album here. Now these are stickers, but I did go ahead and put a little bit of glue because I'm putting it on some of that glitter stripe tag. Sometimes the stickers don't stick very well on glitter. So if you use a liquid glue, it can seep down into those glitter cracks and get a really good hold. I'm also taking some of this bling from the kit adding it to the front. Um, I was trying to decide where to add this one and then I thought, oh, it's a reindeer, put it on the nose and make a Rudolph, right? So I thought that was really cute. And that's the front of my album. So super simple to load it up with all the cute things. I'm not going to show you every page in this album, um, how I created it, but I do want to show you a few things that you can do, a few tips and tricks. Um, and now you can see you can open up your album, see all the pages in there ready to be decorated. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you this first page that I've decorated. I've slipped some tags into my envelope here. I've put some pattern paper on the inside to make that pocket really cute. You can use the journaling cards from this kit, score them and make a really fun waterfall page. So that's what I did here. So now you have lots of room for writing memories, adding photos and things. S moving on to the next page, I'm going to make a shaker page. So I've taken my black cardstock for my bottom layer using some of this foiled vellum from the kit and I am actually going to go and sew that together on three sides. So I'm leaving the top side open and I'm just going to dump in a bunch of glitter. Now I wouldn't use chunky glitter because um, that's going to not move around very well. I would use some of this flat confetti type glitter and I have some of this shiny white stuff in my stash and I just dumped a bunch in. I thought this shaker page was going to be really fun. Um, it is kind of hard to get all that glitter really shaking since there's not a whole lot of space between the two layers of paper. Um, that's why I say when you want to sew a shaker page, 
probably using a flat type glitter is best, but I really like how it kind of gives the idea of snow in this shaker pocket page. I think it's really cute. So I've gone ahead and I've adhered that down and now I have a cute shaker page in my album. So there are so many things you can do in an album, so many ways that you can get creative. I'm going to go ahead and just decorate that page and I'm just going to give you a flip through of this album now that I've got it all decorated. I mainly wanted to give you the idea and the tips and know-how of how to build a envelope album. And then you can go ahead and use this kit and load it up with all the Christmas things. I think this is so fun. So that's the first page I've already shown you. Here is the page with that shaker pocket in it. I've gone ahead and I've added some of those cutouts around there, but I left them unglued at the top so I could slip a photo into that frame later. You can add some of the journaling cards to your envelope pockets. Lots of room to tuck in memories and photos and journaling and everything. I have to say I love this page. There are some cute kit kitten cutouts in this set. So I made one side with the nice kitty, the other side with the naughty kitty. I thought it was really fun. And then you have those that big kitty journaling page in the middle. I just scored and folded some of those really large journaling cards and made a little booklet out of it. Um, it did add a lot of bulk to my album, but I thought it was cute. So here's another page. I just simply cut little squares of pattern paper that I can put tiny little photos in, more tags in the pockets, and then my last page is just a really fun sort of woodsy feel with the trees and the wood grain and the deer there. Again, a little jewel on the nose of the deer making it look like a Rudolph. You can go ahead and tie your album closed with that closure tie that we put on at the beginning and you can see this album even though I ha don't have photos and things in it did get quite chunky so that's why I said I think about six pages is good for a little album. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope it gives you some inspiration on how to make your own little Christmas album. Like I said, there are a ton of things in this Merry Everything kit. If you like this, don't forget to give a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and just do all the things. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.